Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video. We're going to look at the ECMDF 30 day uh, model for today's first video. So we're going um, four weeks ahead with the uh, ECM, with the temperature and precipitation of, uh, anomalies for the next um, four weeks for the UK and for Europe. We can't show you mean solar pressure or 500 millibar heights, but you can get a rough idea of what model is forecasting from its uh, temperature and precipitation anomalies so that's what we're going to do for uh, today's first video coming up later on this afternoon we'll have a week's 10 day uh video update and uh, that's going to include all of the regular uh, features as well uh right then so we're going to start off with the uh week one temperature we're at the hungarian uh met office by the way so big thank you to them for supplying the chart so we're going to start off with a week one temperature anomaly this is week 31 uh, for the year, we can see that it's still pretty warm across the far north and northwest of Europe. So for the UK and for Ireland, we're coming out uh, warmer than average. Some parts of Norway warmer than average, and also down to Denmark, parts of low countries, Germany, Poland. Still a bit above average with temperature anomalies there. Nowhere near as hot as it was last week across the north and west of Europe, but still on the warmer than average side. Also a little bit cooler than average going a bit further south or so. Parts of France coming out slightly below average temperature. Spain, Portugal coming out slightly below average too. Going further through the Mediterranean, quite a warm scene, however, from around Corsica and Sardinia eastwards. So Bally Aracai is around average to a little bit above, but from around Corsica, Sardinia eastwards into Italy and then down towards Greece. It does look quite warm there with temperature uh, anomalies of around one to three degrees above average. Then we come up the eastern side of Europe, and it's uh, cooler. So we've got these Baltic Sea areas that are below average in the week ahead, and going down to eastern parts of Europe, cooler than average there too, and very, very substantially cooler than average across western parts of Russia. In fact, you would say cold, uh, really colder than average, with a temperature anomaly there looking to be around six to ten degrees below average across much of western Russia. It's been a very, very cool summer uh, across western parts of Russia this summer, and that goes on uh, for the week ahead. Precipitation-wise for week one, it's a bit of a mess, really. Lots of variation from area to area. So most of Scandinavia, away from Denmark, uh, looking warmer than, um, looking drier than average. Denmark is a bit wetter than average, as is uh, northern parts of Germany. Uh, the rest of Germany, though, down into the low countries, into France, drier than average there, and then down into Spain and Portugal, also uh, quite dry. UK and Ireland uh, show that the northwestern parts of Scotland and also down into uh, Ireland generally drier than average. England and Wales, though, forecast to be wetter than average. A large part of the Mediterranean is drier than average. And then up into the eastern side of Europe, overall, I think we're favouring slightly wetter than average conditions, really, from the Balkans through towards Ukraine and the Black Sea. And then we've got Greece and Turkey looking rather drier than average once again. So a lot of variation from area to area in uh, the week ahead for precipitation with a mix of, uh, of, uh, of dry and wet conditions. This is week two temperature anomaly. It's week 32 for the year. Uh, still much colder than average across western parts of Russia. It does as though, as though these cooler than average temperatures are sort of um, stretching out across many parts of Europe now. So the areas that are warmer than average in this week, this is taking us from the 5th to the 11th of August, by the way. The areas that are warmer than average uh, this week really are just sort of Ireland and western parts of uh, England and Scotland. I mean, going down into some parts of the Mediterranean, a little bit warmer than average. However, the vast majority of uh, Europe does look to be uh, sort of average or below average in um, many instances. So you have a wide area, really, uh, across much of Europe that's going cooler than average there from the 5th to the 11th of August. Quite unusual to see so much of Europe being covered by below average temperature anomalies. The core of it, of course, is still there across western Russia, but just beginning to push into some uh, far eastern 
northeastern parts of Europe. It also looks a lot more unsettled in this week as well. So precipitation anomalies look like this. Driving average through central northern parts of Scandinavia and driving average through much of the Mediterranean. However, many other areas across Europe as well as being a bit cooler than average. Also going wetter than average this week. So vast majority of the UK and Ireland is wetter than average. France, wetter than average. Low countries, Belgium, Holland, uh, wetter than average there. And also it's uh, a little bit wetter than average across Germany too. We head down into the east and the southeast of Europe. And again, overall, it is looking rather on the wet side. So it looks like this is a much cooler and much more unsettled week from uh, the 5th through to the 11th of August. We go through to week 3. It's week 33 for 2019. This is how the temperature anomalies are looking. Again, overall, rather disappointing, really. Rather uh, cooler than average. Cooler than average of France. Cooler than average of the central parts of uh, Europe. Or average to cooler than average, I suppose. We are losing those very cool or even colder than average temperature anomalies across Western Russia, but they are still a little bit below average there. Ukraine down to Black Sea, largely below average. In the northwest, it does look a little bit warmer. So for parts of Scandinavia and possibly for northern and western parts of the UK, maybe going towards the milder, warmer than average uh, side of average, but it's, it's not particularly exciting. With the temperature normally there from the 12th to the 18th of August. And as far as Mediterranean, Mediterranean is concerned, overall again quite close to average. Or maybe you would say even favouring slightly below average temperature. Precipitation wise, we're unsettled again. This is week three. So by this point the signal is usually starting to weaken. That's what we're seeing here. But nevertheless, we still see quite widely, particularly central parts of Europe from Ireland and the UK in the west over towards uh, the Ukraine in the east. It does look though that central swathe is uh, coming out uh, rather wetter than average through this period. So still a very unsettled uh, period there. Further north across Scandinavia, again, possibly a little bit on the drier side. And some parts of the Mediterranean uh, looking a bit drier than average as well. So Spain is a bit drier than average, the central bowl of the Mediterranean through to Italy. Just a little bit drier than average uh, through there. So maybe uh, a better week for the Med. But further north across much of Europe, it does look quite unsettled and still relatively relatively cool. And then we go through finally to uh, the, uh, let's go back, so that's gone a bit wrong. Uh, let's go back to there and then click week 34. And we go through to week 34 for, uh, for 2019. It's week four for our forecast period. It's taking us from the 19th to 25th of August. Signs of a bit of a recovering temperature beginning to take place in the northwest. So it's going a bit warmer than average, uh, close to the UK and to Ireland. Uh, heading up towards Iceland, also over towards Norway. Temperatures look like they're beginning to stage a bit of a recovery then. The cold of an average temperature anomalies are being pushed off into the far east of uh, Europe and the west of Russia. Otherwise, most areas, again, looking very close to average. Might be a weak signal for the Mediterranean to be a little bit on the warm side. But otherwise, most areas going close to average as we are losing the signal. And finally, for precipitation... Uh, in week four from the 25th, uh, from the 19th, 25th of August. Uh, very weak signals, as you always get with week four. The Mediterranean looking a bit drier than average of Spain and Portugal over towards Italy. Uh, possibly still hinting at being a bit wetter than average of the UK and for Ireland. Uh, maybe a bit wetter than average over here towards the Black Sea. Otherwise, again, very, very close to average, really, with uh, precipitation anomalies. I have to say, this is looking like a relatively cool and relatively unsettled August if the ECMWF is right about this. Not just for the UK and Ireland, but actually for many parts of Europe after the very, very extreme bursts of heat that we have had both in June and July. Uh, across much of Europe at the moment, it looks as though August could well be a significantly cooler month and also a lot more unsettled as well. Now, of course, it's only a snapshot of what this model is showing today, so next week it could look uh, very different, but it does kind of tie in with a lot of the model output that we're seeing 
at the moment, which is certainly suggesting that August is likely to be quite a bit cooler and quite a bit more unsettled, particularly compared to the second half of July and also to the second half of June. Has been a bit of a trend over recent months, but the first half of the months tending to be cooler and more unsettled, the second half of months tending to be warmer and drier. Uh, so that might be going on here. It could be that the second half of August will turn hotter and drier. We shall have to wait and see. But at the moment, the indications for August 2019 do look a little bit unsettled and a little bit cool. Right, we'll do it all over again uh, next week. And, of course, next week's update will take us to the end of August and the end of meteorological summer 2019. I will be back later on with a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. So we come back for that then. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.